What is up, you posers? Today, we're gonna learn how to make the Thrasher logo in Adobe Illustrator. So, opening up Illustrator, I'm gonna make a new file, name it Thrasher. I'm just gonna have a square artboard, 1500 by 1500 pixels. Um, so, first I'm gonna just place uh, a reference file of the logo that I wanna recreate. I'm gonna recreate this Thrasher logo. I'm not going to do the one with flames all over it. I'm not uh, designing a 60s hot rod. I just want to do clean logo with clean typography. That's what I like. Um, so now that we have that open, um, I'm going to hit the type tool with T on the keyboard. You can click there. Click in your artboard and just type THRASHER in all caps. And from there, I'm just going to hold SHIFT and expand the corners just so I can see it. Um, and from here we just need to change the font um, in your character panel um, we're going to choose Banco or Banco I'm not sure how to pronounce it but uh, this is a free font um, I'll put a link in the description uh, so you can download it and follow along um, so yeah now that we have uh, that in here it already looks pretty close to what we want so we just need to make a couple of adjustments um, first I'm just going to throw it up just vaguely um, up here and I want to copy um, this shape so you can it's a I guess I didn't show uh, it's here uh, the ellipse tool or you can hit L on your keyboard uh, just pull out a shape uh, I'm not doing anything special I'm just trying to kind of trace uh, the bottom circle of these thrasher letters um, that looks pretty good um, there we go. Uh, just gonna pull it over here. Let's turn it, uh, this magenta color, and I'm just gonna make that a stroke and just bump it up a couple of pixels. Um, from here, I just want to center it. Oops, I didn't have it selected. There we go. And just going to bump it down until it gets uh, where the center bar is of the A. Just bump it down just a little bit below that, maybe about halfway down the rest of those bottom bars of the A. Okay, so it should look something something like this. Uh, from here, uh, just click into uh, the text and we wanna outline this text. So go to expand and just click okay. You should see all, should see all of the uh, the paths outline like this. Um, right now it's all a group so just hold command shift and hit G a bunch of times so all of the letters are separated like this. Okay and the first thing that we want to do is just start aligning the letters around the circle uh, but we're gonna go inside out so we're gonna start with the two center letters the A and the S and we want the tops to stay consistent, so we're going to adjust from the bottom, holding shift and with this bottom center point, or center anchor rather. Um, just pull it up until, right, the letters fall just below our magenta circle. Now with the R and the H, they're about the size that we want, so we just wanna nudge those in um, just make it a nice distance. We just kind of want it to look clean. Um, you don't have to like actually do math or anything. Just make them look pretty good. Um, I think that's fine. Um, with the oops, with the E and the H, um, we need to make these a bit bigger. So holding shift and adjusting from the bottom just like earlier, pull them larger until those corners just touch the uh, magenta guideline and just like you did with the other letters just pull those in just a nice tight distance maybe a little bit more that looks pretty good and we're gonna do the same thing with the R and the T um, holding shift pull from the center I think that looks pretty good Again, just pull those in. Do the same thing here. Uh, 
and nice. So now that we have that, we just need to make a few more adjustments. We want to pull the bars just below our magenta guideline. So uh, using the direct selection, hold, click these like corner anchor points just so you're adjusting one at a time. And yeah, just pull them below the, uh, yeah, our magenta guideline. And yeah, when you're pulling it, you want to keep a, the same angle. You don't want to try to move the bar too much, um, unless you want to. Um, yes, yeah, say I don't like the way that T is falling. I just moved it over a little bit. I kind of like that more. Um, so yeah, just uh, you know, make the artistic choice if uh, you want to bend the bars a little bit. But yeah, just as a general rule, don't change the angle because we want to keep the typography the same. That falls below, and yeah, yeah, that has a lot of noise, so glad I don't have to deal with that. Um, well, I'll show you, if, if you do, if, say it like ends up here or something, you can always just draw just like some more lines, and with both of them selected, go to Pathfinder and Unite, and yeah, just in case you need to like draw a little bit and it was like all noisy at the bottom, uh, you can always just like, yeah, draw a little bit extra too and just uh, unite the path. And yeah, with this one, uh, I'm also going to cheat a little bit and do it about like that. I think that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, so now that we have all the shapes where we like them, I am going to highlight everything. So get all of the letters and also the circle. And we want to go to the Shape Builder tool. That's Shift M on your keyboard. I want to change this fill. Let's change it just this blue just so we can see it. And yeah, um, as you see, you go over the letters, you'll see that kind of dotted line. Just click and they will all change to that blue fill that we just chose. Just do that only on top of the circle. Leave all of the black bits at the bottom. Delete your circle. Then highlight the black. Go to select, same fill color. That's going to select all the black shapes. And just delete them. And there you go. You have the Thrasher logo. Um, you can type in your own name. You can make patches or stickers or something, you know, pass them around at the middle school, you know, tell everyone that you're pro. Um, or yeah, make your own t-shirt that doesn't have those lame flames. Um, yeah, or, you know, do whatever. You can make, like, fake, uh, like, magazine covers or something, too. Uh, that's always fun. Um, so yeah, I'll kind of end the video there. Just, uh, want to give a sincere, uh, dedication to Jeff Grosso, um, Love Letters to Skateboarding, uh, yeah, it was an awesome series, uh, hate to see him go so soon, uh, he was in, uh, my favorite video of all time, Black Label, Label Kills, um, yeah man, Original Ripper, uh, R.I.P. Jeff Grosso, um, thanks for watching.